afternoon. Welcome back to a peaceful-ish <laughs> Charente here in the southwest of France. It's been quite a quiet day today and uh, it's been really nice, apart from the noise I've been making, obviously. Um, yeah, I've been a, a busy boy. I'll quickly show you what I've been up to. Yeah, it's been one of those British type of days. You know, no real weather, just grey skies, little bit of blue sky here and there. Good temperature to work in and uh, made the most of it. Uh, pretty pleased with what I've done. If you look over my shoulder, you should be able to see what I've been up to. Um, yeah, made a start and uh, back is broken. <laughs> I reckon I need about another 25 posts, maybe 27. So uh, that's a good job done. I thought uh, I'd come down and uh, have a little wander, have a little chat because I want to say thank you to some uh, amazing people out there. That, um, well, first of all, I just want to give a special mention to someone. Sharon went the extra mile. I've got to say, she went the extra mile. And um, also I want to say a big thank you to Matt. Um, amazing people, amazing people, and Joyce, and all those that um, do choose to buy me a coffee, or several coffees, or many coffees, um, just to uh, show their appreciation <laughs> for uh, what I'm doing and they uh, they obviously um, feel that they're getting some kind of benefit <laughs> from watching my videos and uh, yeah it's really nice that they uh, show their appreciation so yeah thank you to everyone that clicks on my uh, coffee.com link I did get a comment I didn't make a note of it it wasn't on my list of things to talk about um, but it went along the lines of um, I can't rely on people giving me money <laughs> obviously talking about cats and dogs um yeah i'm not quite sure what's meant by that really that's a bit like if a supermarket you know you went into a supermarket you can't rely on a supermarket being given money every week it's just a strange kind of thing just to give you a heads up how youtube works uh people create content and people consume that content it's kind of like a um a trade you know like you would if you went into the supermarket and bought a pint of milk you know there's a trade going on so if you do appreciate what you're consuming then you can um, you know chip in or at least watch the adverts because that kind of helps the creator anyway what was I going to say so yeah a little bit of clickbait I think in the uh, thumbnail um, yeah I do seem to have <laughs> a new tenant on the farm <laughs> and um, I've called him lucky I'm pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it's that's the male isn't it it's definitely a male pheasant um, and uh, yeah pretty chilled out while I was working around I don't know where he is now I think he did get a little bit uh, annoyed with all the banging that I was doing um, but kind of strange you never know <laughs> what's gonna happen from one day to the next it's uh, a lovely place to be so uh, I have a um, and it looked like he was trying to nest <laughs> or trying to find somewhere to nest thinking oh this is a nice quiet spot and there's some dipstick from England wandering backwards and forwards with fence posts and uh, anyway <laughs> I didn't I didn't get a dog <laughs> but I have got some news on a cat uh, I am going to see the cat in the morning uh, I'm not taking a carrier I do have a cat carrier which I've borrowed from where I volunteer um, and uh, yeah I'm just gonna go and meet as was recommended by many 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 people in their comments and I've got to thank I've got to thank you all I've got nearly a hundred comments and pretty much every single one of them was a detailed comment a well thought out well typed out 
comment. So thank you. Oh, I can't tell you how much that means to have like a hundred people. I know that doesn't sound like many, but as I've said before, if they all came around for breakfast, you'd soon run out of bread, wouldn't you? Um, yeah, to have a hundred people actually take the time out of their day to write something really nice and uh, well, one or two crap comments, but 99.9% .9 fantastic comments. Um, so yeah, thank you, a wonderful people. So uh, yeah, talking of my volunteering, I kind of uh, want to put this subject to bed, but I probably won't because it does niggle me. Um, yeah, I do get the odd comment saying, well, if you don't want to pay, you shouldn't get a dog. If you don't want to do this, you shouldn't do that. And how do I get this point across um, and make it, make it not seem like I'm, you know, being awful? But um, I, uh, I do volunteer to raise money for um, these doggy and cat shelters. And I love what I do where I volunteer. And uh, it's hard work sometimes. And I work with some lovely people, a few miseries, but mainly lovely people. And um, yeah, no, I really enjoy it. And the good thing about it is, I know I'm a tiny, tiny little cog in this little in this big machine uh, that raises money uh, for, as I say, food and healthcare for cats and dogs mainly, but other animals as well. And so it does, it does niggle me. <laughs> the, the rehoming fees do niggle me. And I think partly it niggles me because last year, in the last year, I should say, what was that last year, the last 12 months, where I volunteer, has raised over 210,000 euros for these pe for these places. Now that is a lot of money. So a lot of these places are not short of cash. And that's just from one place that's, um, uh, you know, giving them money. And there are many places that give them money. And there's many people that like to donate to uh, cat shelters and dog shelters. And I'm sure all that money is greatly received and well spent. So when it comes to paying 300 or 350 euros to uh, rehome a dog or 180 euros to rehome a cat, it doesn't sit well with me because I know how much money is going through these places. Um, and I know where it goes and it annoys me a little bit. So yeah, hopefully that makes Hopefully that sort of makes sense the way I'm, because it does look like I'm coming across as being an old misery about paying 300. Well, if you can't pay 300 quid, you shouldn't get a dog. It's not about the 300 quid. 300 quid's a lot of money, but some people pay a thousand pound, 2000 pound for their pet. That, that's not the issue. The issue is not the price, but <laughs> it kind of is. Um, it, the issue is where that money goes and where it's being spent. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying people that at the shelter are driving around in new Mercedes, but the vet is, <laughs> and the um, the shareholders of the pharmaceutical companies, they're driving around in new Mercedes. So yeah, it does, does, and it's just, it's just one of those situations that's always going to niggle me. So you can have your opinion, and uh, that's my opinion. And to be honest, I was thinking about this the other day, should I get the opportunity to, uh, I think I should take it, if I'm, if I get the opportunity to go to one of these shelters and actually see what's going on and sort of report back, if you like, I mean, I have seen some video footage and it ain't pretty what I've seen. I've seen some lovely shelters in America. Um, yes. And I think the ones in France are a far cry from that, but I'm guessing there's more of a population in America that are willing to give to, um, uh, charities. Um, but yeah, I could, I'm always thinking of ideas. I'm an ideas person. Uh, every day I wake up with a new idea. You know that if you've watched the channel for a while, you know what I'm like. And I would, if I was uh, volunteering at a shelter, I would have an idea every day to make the lives of those dogs and cats better. Um, and that's not taken away from any of the volunteers that do all the hard graft and try and entertain these dogs and cats. I'd never take, as I said yesterday, I wouldn't take anything away from the volunteers. Um, but I would go the extra mile to try and make the lives of those cats and dogs better um, without spending huge amounts of money. 
Um, so maybe I'll get the opportunity and maybe I'd eat my words. Maybe, you know, maybe I'd get a slap, like saying, see, you were talking nonsense. But yeah, maybe I'll get the opportunity to go to one of these places and uh, have a look. Anyway, I just want to have a little catch up. Say thank you to all my amazing, amazing viewers out there that took the time to um, leave a comment. Uh, and I do like a comment, as uh, a lot of YouTubers <laughs> often say. Please like and subscribe if you like this sort of stuff. If you don't like this sort of stuff and you want to leave snarky comments, don't watch. Honestly, there's no skin off my nose. See you later.